All right, so here in this problem, we are asked to find the impedance seen from terminal AB in this resistor capacitor inductor network. For this particular circuit, we're given that the omega or the angular frequency of the sinusoidal uh, is 50 radians per second. So we'll start out by converting the capacitors and the inductors to their uh, respective impedances. So let's get started here. The impedance of a capacitor is given by 1 over j omega c. Uh, and 1 over j can also be written as minus j, so we can write this as minus j over omega c. Omega is given as 50. Uh, our first c is 2 millifarads, so 2 times 10 to the power minus 3 farads. So using that, we get a minus j 10 ohm impedance on c1. Similarly, we use the same formula that we have here for gc2. And C2 is 10 millifarads, so uh, we obtain minus J2 ohms as the imp imp impedance of capacitor C2. For the case of the inductor, the impedance is given as J omega L. Uh, omega is 50 and L is 0.2, so that leads us uh, to a impedance of J10 ohms. So let's uh, redraw this circuit. Uh, and uh, uh, with respective impedances instead of the capacitor and the inductor values. So here's my circuit right here redrawn, uh, and all I've done is replace the uh, capacitor and, and the inductor values with their respective impedances we just calculated. Now, if I look at this network, I see that the 3 ohm resistor and the minus J2 ohm impedance right here, they are in series with each other. Similarly, this impedance right here, the J10 ohm impedance, is in series with the 8 ohm impedance. So we can redraw this circuit as following. So Z1, which is a series network of 3 and minus J2, and Z2 is a series network of J10 ohms and 8 ohms. Impedances in series, they just add up, just like how resistors would add up when they are in series. So 3 ohm and minus J2 ohm can be written as 3 minus J2 ohm overall impedance for Z1, and the impedance Z2 can be written as 8 plus J10 as such. Now, by careful observation, we also see that these two impedances that we just found, the combined impedances, are actually in parallel with each other. So Z1 and Z2 are parallel with each other. So when two impedances are in parallel with each other, the combined parallel impedance is given by the multiplication of these two impedances, Z1 times Z2, divided by the sum of Z1 plus Z2. So Z1 is 3 minus J2, and Z2 is 8 plus J10. So multiply that and divide by the sum of these two. What This is what we get. We'll call that impedance Z1, 2, which is uh, the following. And using my calculator, I calculate this particular impedance uh, uh, ratio as being 3.22 minus J 1.07 ohms. Now, when I'm done calculating, what I've what I'm reduced my circuit to is the following. So I have the minus J 10 ohm capacitor in series with the new impedance that we just calculated right here, the Z12. So looking from the terminal, I see from terminal A, I see an impedance and another impedance in series with each other. So they're going to add. So the overall impedance ZAB from seen from the term terminal is minus J10 plus the Z12 that we just, Z12 that we just calculated. So 3.22 minus J1.07, which is uh, basically 3.22 minus J11.07 ohms. So that's the overall impedance seen from the source or from, through, from the terminal AB.